stop plot, and we will go from there. So I've got that on medium high heat. This is my sixth year here, and I think go, going all the way back to my first year, there was uh, discussions of a new culinary lab and, and those types of things, and uh, we would go to different schools and check theirs out and have some in-services there and stuff. So we kind of knew what um, you know some of the other facilities in the district had had, um, and uh, you know for for myself and uh, you know my colleagues through the last couple of years, I, I think we just kind of focused on using what we had and making the best out of it, and then uh, all of a sudden this year uh, we've got this really nice baking facility that we're staying in today uh, much more open the other side is more um, it, it almost looks like a you know a hotline you'd see in the back of a kitchen it's got uh, several really nice gas, gas top stoves it's got a really nice big hood vent several three compartment sinks um, and we typically use that more for our culinary essentials culinary arts classes just because uh, we need that stove and oven space more frequently I can see it kind of peek out the end of my piping tip and you guys can see that there so the kids that have been here have been super excited about the room. Even some of the kids online, we did some kind of virtual tours with them, you know, the first couple of days of school. Uh, I think that was kind of a, uh, a little bit of shell shock just to go from, you know, the old home ec kitchens that we had upstairs uh, to, to down here to the really nice industrial standard kitchens that we have. Um, so I know our kids that we've had coming in the building now really are really impressed. And, you know, it's hard to believe that we're standing on top of an old swimming pool. All right, guys, I've got my chicken quarter here. My uh, oil's heating up, right? Okay. All I'm going to do is take some salt and pepper here, and I'm going to season up. This chicken quarter. I pretty much teach a, a little bit of everything from the introduction all the way into the arts class. From basic one-on-one, these are dry cooking methods, moist cooking methods, to you know, baking and pastries a lot more with measurements and uh, volume measuring, weight measuring, those types of things. Uh, we have some nutrition that falls in, into all those things. We have some, um, you know, I, I would say a little bit of artistic design that falls into some of that stuff with our plate presentation and that. Um, but again, all the way from, you know, steaming broccoli to making chicken cacciatore, you know, so uh, cupcakes in between, cheesecake, that kind of stuff. So a, a wide array of different uh, skills covered in the, uh, you know, the culinary pathway, I guess you'd call it. So we're going to get one tablespoon of the curry, uh, and then we're going to do a teaspoon okay, of the turmeric. Overall, this is definitely where we want to be when we talk about industrial standards and, you know, getting kids ready for the workplace. And then, um, you know, even for some of those kids that are just trying to learn how to cook and benefit their personal lives, much better experience here because they're seeing some of the things that are more, uh, that are probably more equivalent to what you would see, uh, you know, in the industry uh, versus those home ec kitchens that were, you know, just normal uh, kitchen stoves that you'd have at home, uh, normal sinks. We didn't have hand washing sinks. We didn't have three compartment sinks. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of upgrades as you look around at, here in this new classroom. It's wide open. It's easy to see the kids. Uh, the equipment's up, you know, as as new as you can get it, as close to, to industry standard as you can get. Um, it's on the first floor. It's close to the parking lot, so it's a lot easier to carry the groceries in. Um, but yeah, there's you know the big pantry space, the big refrigeration space. Um, every, everything just makes it a lot more uh, functional for what we're trying to do. For sure. But again, we got about 18 minutes to let that cook down, so we want to make sure we get as much cleaning done in the meantime as we can. You know, I always talk to our kids, you know, on the first day with our syllabus, and I just, you know, I say, I want you guys to have fun. I want you guys to learn how to cook. Not everybody that takes this class has to have a desire to be a chef or a cook or work in the food industry. Um, but if you want to learn how to make some food, if you want to have some fun, if you do want to work in the food industry, uh, for all those reasons, this is a good place to start and a good place to check it out. And even if you're just thinking about it, try it. It doesn't hurt to give it a shot, and, and maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. Um, but I think what more often than that, we find that the kids really enjoy it and they get a lot out of it. And we, and we have a lot of kids that already coming into our class work in food service. And so they're able to take some of those skills that they already have, carry it over to the classroom and then learn some new skills here and carry that over to the workplace. So it's a, it's a really good experience for a lot of our kids.